Hello guys, I am Sauraji Biswas here. So today I am going to do an unboxing of a Crompton exhaust fan. That is Crompton Axial Air High Speed 6 inch or 150 mil ventilating fan. So this is the cheapest exhaust fan that is available in the market. This cost me around 800 rupees and this is a basic plastic exhaust fan with a high speed motor and the airflow is somewhat around 275 cubic meter per hour. It's I think it's okay for this fan because I also saw the Havels version means the Havels uh, axial air type fan. That fan I saw it's little bit high, higher price that is 1150 I hope so comparing this 800 rupees. So this is the as you can see this is the box of the fan and this is available in 100 mil or 4 inch and 150 mil that is 5 inch. And this is the box there is nothing here there is some specs that is high speed operation good airflow and quiet operation modern design and elegant look lightweight and rust proof plastic body and blade inbuilt safety grill so these are the features and this is the color is ivory so this is the top part and here is the manufacturing level so let me show you the level so as you can see here this fan is manufactured in khasra number 17 and 19 will katha Baddi, district solan himachal pradesh so this is I hope another factory of Brompton who makes this plastic fan. So the box MRP is 1110 but you will get it for around 800 to 850 rupees and its manufacture is July 2020. So as you are watching here so this is the and it's obviously made in India. This is not a China product remember Brompton is always made in India. So let's unbox the fan. So as you are watching here is nothing to assemble or something like that because the fan is fully assembled and packed in the box so let me just open the seals so first we are getting the installation manual come warranty card and it comes with two years warranty and as you can see here are some instructions how to install the fan and what to do and yes this fan power consumption is only 20 watt yes it's a 20 watt fan because it's a 6 inch that's why and the 4 inch version is having 12 watts and the speed of the 6 inch is 1750 and the 4 inch is 2400 obviously the more the size is small the more the speed will be so this is the warranty card so let's remove the packaging from here there is nothing inside so here is the fan here is a bubble wrap given so if you have a free time then you can just pop these bubbles from ten has provided you this thing and this is the fan as you can see so let me show you so this is the level of the fan as you can see 750 rpm and 20 watts and this is the rear side of the fan this this, this side should be placed outside your home the fan will blow air from uh, to this side and it will suck air from this side so as you are watching the blades so so this is a seven blade fan and let's just remove the pins now as you can see here are four holes but here is no holes that means this is this fan is almost like a modular switch as you can see the modular switches so you have to remove the facial first so this is the facial and now you can see the screws are exposed here the screw holes so it, these are the mounting screws and this is the facial part and you, you, this facial either can be fixed like this or can be fixed like this because the wire this wire sleeve is only in this side and this side not in other sides so this is the fan and as you can see here but let me turn on the flash as you can see here this is a shaded pole motor so yes this is a shaded pole motor and this is a bush motor as you can see here is a bush and I hope it's a bush yes it's a bush so this kind this small fan will never have a double ball bearing or whatever because the space is very small so let me just show you what's inside so yes this is the motor and this blade is a push fit as you can see spring loaded it's a push fit blade so this is a small motor as you can see it's very cute and it's a high speed motor so if you don't need to lubricate if you want to lubricate just place put some oil here and in the reverse here it will be okay for the fan and these are the windings fully copper windings as you can see and these are the joints of the wire and 
it's not so high to hit the blade because it's adjusted accordingly so this is the motor and this shaft is also a little bit in a bullet type shape just to give a firm fit with the blade and this is the blade so as you can see from this side you can remove the motor by removing these two screws but who cares if this is a new product and it will this this is a like type of product you will fit and forget so this is the motor now connected with the power supply let me show you the motor so as you can see this is a very silent motor means this motor have no sound at all it's really silent very silent as you can see it's rotating let me turn off so as you can see it, it's really silent and this motor rotates in counter clockwise direction like the trans air but the blade this blade will pull the air outside so as you can see now let me show you the what's the thing of the blade so as you can see if, if the blade will rotate like this it will drag the air like this and if the blade will rotate like this it will drag the air in reverse like this but the performance will be down because when the air is dragged like this the air directly goes straight away but if the blade rotates in the reverse way or in a wrong direction this is applicable in any fan a table fan ceiling fan whatever might be if the blade is put in reverse or the motor is in reverse it will rotate like this so what will happen the air will be slipping like this this and after that the air will slip out like this so in reverse rotation you will not feel a air coming on this side rather you will feel the air scattering to the um, ac ac across the blades in the periphery so i will suggest never reverse a fan um, better to put a, run a fan in the, um, the given direction to get maximum performance so this is a push fit blade as I, as I said you so let's put the blade now the blade is in lowest position let me just turn on the fan so this is the fan this is the sound so it's quite silent i think you guys will hear the this sound too much because this is a uh, cell phone and this is not a separate mic and camera setup as you know so the remember these things so this blade is almost here just remove it this blade is almost in the brim so don't put anything towards here because it's unprotected and the way of installing this fan is let me explain to you so suppose you have a hole in your wall the size of the hole is approximately the size of this uh, this thing means it will be slightly greater than this thing so the, uh, assume the hole is above 6 inch but below 6.5 inch or below 7 inch so in that hole you have to use this fan so if the hole is circular only then only you can fix this fan there as you know because then the fan the, then that whole thing will be get inserted and this square square frame the square frame will uh, fit on the walls because if the hole is round then the, this round part will get inserted in the hole and these uh, screws will be fixed in the edges of the hole so exhaust will be in like this and after that you have to just fix the facial like this so one thing to be noted is that uh, you can fix this fan like this or like this um, you can also fix this like this but it is not intended keep the wire in either of the sides like if you want to keep the logo in the proper position and yes this is all ABS plastic there is no metal except the motor everything is plastic here so no issues regarding rusting or whatever might be so this is the fan and the, I think this fan if you have a very small toilet say something like means a small for toilet like for attached bedroom those bathrooms this fan will be enough um, I hope so if there is a small toilet then this fan will be enough for your that kind of bathroom or toilet applications if you have a giant toilet then you you may need multiple exhaust like this if you have multiple provision or else you may go for bigger size exhaust fans that is the chromson grip trans air or the chromson grip flux air metallic ones i will suggest the flux air over the drift air because flux air is having a capacitor this is a shaded pole motor this don't have capacitor so the drift air is similar shaded pole motor but in big size but the flux air is having capacitor so obviously the flux air will be a better option than that of drift air and trans air is the king of exhaust fans because it's double wall bearing in 9 inch and 12 inch obviously because as you know i have a video regarding trans air 6 inch and also 9 inch as you can saw there the bearing configuration or whatever might be and as you can see so let's just put the frame here 
so i think i require the fan like this so i will fix it like this and just press it against and it will be completely tight fit so this is the fan so the blade is in the outside so uh, one thing you will see is um, plain ventilating holes and the blade will be outside your kitchen or toilet premises so no issues regarding that and don't think this blade will pop out from the fan because if you're trying to pull this blade out it will not come out as easy as it uh, it is pressed fit because as you know there is a spring loaded on the blade so that spring works as if you just fit the blade here it will smoothly go get inside but if you want to take out the blade from here then it will be a hefty job and the second thing is that the fan is sucking air from your room means the blade want to travel inside the blade will not jump outside because the air is sucked from here to here so the thrust on the blade will be inside that's why also the blade will never fall off so this is the fan let me just show you what's the performance so the airflow is pretty good it's not bad it's a pretty it's having a pretty good airflow and it from this side the sound is less compared to that of the outside so this is a very good exhaust fan and i hope you guys like this fan because this is a first of all this is the cheapest fan of crompton and i know ma maximum of you guys uh, always uh, want to get what a money can give you that is the minimum price maximum performance so this is somewhat like that that's why i love the axial air so much because there are another type of exhaust fan that is crompton mount air that's having a completely uh, no grills here only a small hole here that will suck the air that fan is less efficient compared to this axial air because this is having so big a air sucking hole compared to that mount air and what what's a fan when you can't see the blade this is the first question so whatever might be so I will install this fan in a means DIY style in my toilet since the toilet for which I bought this fan don't have any holes in the uh, wall that's why I will just uh, fix it in my window in a DIY style means whatever might be as you know but well, the thing is that the blade should not hit anything that's the main thing and the blade is obviously plastic these are soft quality blades as you can see these are pretty soft and good quality blades and there are many uh, these kind of fans out there in the market like the orient axial axial flow um, the luminous the bajaj those are I, I saw their quality those are not such as good as this crompton and the havels one is also good i also prefer the havels one but um, watching the price means it's an 1150 and havels one have this is having seven blade havels one having more thin blade and it's nine blade so um, remember if you if you have a thin blade thinner than that of this blade and more blades with this but say similar motor that fan will slightly generate more airflow noise because with this particular this spacing between the blades if you if it have more spacing then the noise will be increased and if this uh, means the space between the two blades is less then the fan will be silent like this so uh, this is a fan for around 800 to 850 rupees so if you want to go for it then go for it the smaller ones is also similarly priced so if you want to go for it then go for it i will suggest uh, those who want to buy a cheap fan for a temporary usage or a um, somewhat like this then you may go for it and especially you are getting the trust from crompton and you are also getting a two years warrant and exclusively toll free service so that's the thing so guys this is my diy installation of the exhaust fan so as you can see Mm, this toilet is not renovated yet that's why I have used here a very uh, cheap price exhaust fan otherwise if the toilet is in a good stage the windows are renovated then I may go for the Crompton grip strands there but since this uh, toilet needs a renovation and this fan will be there um, until the renovation or whatever might be that's why in the meantime this exhaust is good so as you are watching and I fixed here using DIY system and some ropes as you can see so here is the level if you can see so whatever might be let's start the exhaust fan it's very quiet means it's not as loud as that of the brisk air high speed 8 inches so this is the sound as you can hear it's pretty silent so and as you can see this is an 8 by 8 inch window pane so the it is the 
means one of the classes is removed that uh, the six by the six inch exhaust is enough for the to shut the air through a window uh, cut cut out that is greater than the other exhaust so this is the exhaust exhaust is very silent and it's not wobbling it's very smooth so i like i like this exhaust very much because it's a super cheap and very good quality so let's stop the exhaust So this is the fan. So guys whatever might be I hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments please place it down. So thank you guys for watching.